lined up on the grid in pretty much uh, as they qualified, but of course we did see some quick cars starting at the back, particularly the Lamborghini of Nicky Pastorelli and Dominic Schwager. This incident took out the uh, Brazilian Nissan for a while. It did recover, but it was always going to be a struggle from there. And then this incident particularly did definitely take out the Aston of Alex Muller and Thomas Engren. It just it's a shame that we lost a couple of cars so early on. Yeah, I mean, turn four, I mean, it, it should be pretty well sorted out, but again, these drivers somehow or other managed to find themselves three cars into one isn't going to go there as the damage to the right front. And a competitive car out of the race and didn't get to see Thomas Enger run that car and uh, a little bit of concern look into the Aston Martin pit. This was Darren Turner making a good move on the Corvette and uh, slid down the inside and Katie was uh, very happy about that. They did get to finish in fourth, of course, in the end. Yeah, this was the pass on uh, coming up into turn 14. There was the moment for Baz Linders had a big old spin, probably about a 7.20, I think, by the time he got to the finish of it. It almost incidents in the pit lane, but I have to say, actually, well done to all the drivers and teams today because although it was close, they actually judged it pretty well. Well, there was no incident, and whether well, that's a good result, yes, it is a good result, but it is very marginal in the case of some of those calls. There was the battle for the lead. Lucas Law managed to get ahead of Richard Westbrook as Westbrook came out of the pits. As we watched the Lamborghini, a big lock-up, but now Westbrook relatively easily. He did get a better run off turn 16. Lucas Law acknowledged that, but it was a soft pass, in my opinion. Well, Lucas Law perhaps wasn't going to defend as hard as he would have done if it had been uh, somebody else. He saw Westbrook had the momentum, and sure enough, Westbrook went ahead and took the lead. Uh, there was a good racing further back as well, as uh, Nicky Passarelli moved that Lambo up, and Carl Benlinger took full advantage when his teammate Max Nielsen made a little slip-up towards uh, the end of the race as well. Up front, Westbrook was still leading. He was uh, under pressure, though, in those closing stages from his teammate, Lucas Lua. But ultimately, there was to be no change. We had a Nissan 1-2-3, Westbrook ahead of Lua and Jamie Campbell-Walter. There'll be more of the same to come from Portimao. I hope you can join us again for the championship race.